Welcome to another episode of Sippy Sarah. Today on the show we're going to make homemade rolls. And I'm doing this early so you can have these rolls for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay, we're using our bread machine. You can do this all by hand if you want to. But I, wanted, I like to do it in the bread machine because it helps. In the bread machine little vessel, I've got three and one fourth cup of all purpose flour. Now, here in a bowl, I've took one cup of warm tap water, put in three teaspoons of yeast, a teaspoon of sugar, let it sit for about 10 minutes and let's see how the yeast it gets all active in there. That's what you need. Before we put that in, to our flour, we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. There's a half. One egg. That's a large egg. Four tablespoons of softened butter. Any butter of your choice. One fourth cup of sugar. You can substitute that for honey or agave. Okay, let me move this stuff and put it all together in the bread machine. Then we'll come back and I'll show you how you pour in your yeast mixture. Got my machine plugged in. And there's little notches to show you where you put your little vessel down in. And it locks into place. <clears throat> now... I'm going to just do my dough settings over here. I just mean you select all of them are different. I want dough. Uh, we'll do it for two pounds. Don't have to worry about the baking control because we're not baking it. And then you just put start and it starts mixing it in there. So let it mix for a good minute to get all that salt incorporated into your flour mixture before you add your yeast in. Okay, now I'm just going to dump my yeast mixture in. And let this continue mixing and stuff. And a uh, roll usually take you can see, about a, an hour and 30 minutes. That means and mix in kneading and rising, and I let it rise in here the first time. The second time, I shape them and rise them. Let them rise. But I'm going to come back in a few minutes to make sure all my bread is incorporated. I'm going to have to take this little rubber spatula and get down on the corners to, and help it. Sometimes, it depends on where you are, you might have to add <coughs> a couple more tablespoons. Or, or, Four more tablespoons of water. It just that's the humidity thing. If you need it, and if it's um too wet, then you might add a couple tablespoons of flour. Okay, we're coming back in here. I want to add two more tablespoons of water. Then we're going to come around to the side with the spatula, like I said, and just scrape all the flour so that everything. Get down on this little corner. See, this is what you want your dough to look like. Okay, your rolls are coming out. And now I'm just going to dump this onto a little bit of greased aluminum foil so it won't stick to my counter. I'm just going to start making rolls with it. I'm going to divide it and maybe I should spray this with a little bit. Half. 
divide your half into half, divide your half into another half, then then divide that into another half. So you make the two rolls. So then you're gonna take some of this. Let me let me, let me spray my hands. And you're just going to start folding it over. And make a little rolls out of it. So there's one roll. Okay, we're shaping up the last of the rolls. And then since I've been working in my kitchen, my kitchen hot, and the oven's been on almost all day long, I'm just gonna leave them on, set them on top of this of the stove here, and cover them over with some strain wrap, and let them rest for about 30, 45, 45 minutes, and let them rise again. Then we'll bake them off. Some of this clean wrap. And we're just going to cover our rolls over lightly with this stuff. And then we're going to take a clean kitchen towel and just cover over that. So the reason why we put the clean wrap is so the dough won't stick to the to the kitchen towel. Leave it sitting for about 30 45 minutes. Let it rise on my on my stuff that's hot and it's been on and it's still on. Just put it in a warm place where you know it's gonna rise. Okay, our rolls have rise. See this is how big they get. Let's see if I can get this off without messing around a little bit. <coughs> Go in there, go into the oven, and they bake for about 11 to 15 minutes at 375 degrees preheated. Then when they get done, you want to bring them out, brush them with the tops of a little bit of butter, and serve them. Rolls just came out of the oven. And then you're going to take some butter and a little pastry brush and brush the tops real good with some butter. Break it in and show you the middle. They're so good and yeasty.